A lot of Borderlands players have fond memories of the Infinity Pistol from Borderlands 2. Well, shut up and strap in because this gun is about to kick the Infinity Pistol's ass. The light show is manufactured by Vladoff, the company that basically said, surely the bullet makers of the world will be able to keep up with us. This gun's special ability is that it shoots in a square pattern that rotates clockwise while firing. And while shooting in the shape of a square probably sounds pretty boring, I'm here to tell you that this gun f***ing rocks. The light show is one of the easiest to obtain, yet ridiculously powerful weapons in Borderlands 3. It drops at a 33% drop rate from Lazodactyl in the Obsidian Forest map inside of the Bounty of Blood DLC, and that is DLC 3 in case you need numbers. And sure, while you can get any drop of this gun at a 33% drop chance, if you want to min-max your damage on this thing, it can still be a fairly challenging farm. In terms of the parts it can roll with, this gun features three different slide options, a possibility of getting either two or three barrels accessories luckily there's only two different magazine options there's three different grip options the chance to roll either with or without a stock and finally there are three different rail pieces you can get so if you want a perfect one i crunched the numbers and the math i came up with is 50 percent either get it or you don't now shut up and watch it work the light show is an absolute beast in the hands of zane but all four vault hunters can use it well in terms of annoyments to hunt for on zane go for the clone active ammo regen if you're doing a clone build a sentinel active of cryo if you rock sentinel or if you use the mantis cannon then you can basically use any action skill start or end annoyment you want the clone active ammo regen annoyment is great though as zane doesn't need any kind of damage annoyments to do work but this annoyment will keep you from having to reload basically making this a better infinity pistol for the other vault hunters consecutive hits is great or you can use fadeaway active on flak you can use action skill end on Moe's. you can use action skill start or end on amara there's a bunch of different annoyments that work really well with the light show for all the the different vault hunters this gun gets four projectiles per shot at the cost of just one ammo per shot it can come in non-elemental or with any of the elemental options as well the light shows high fire rate low ammo cost and ability to shred enemies makes this one of the most powerful pistols in the game and it absolutely rocks hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did make sure you hit that like button hit subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below which gun you'd like to see next thank you guys for watching take care